Hello, my name is Sylvia and today I'm gonna show you our new October releases in our horror universe. Our heroes set out in a small and rural town that has been plagued by a curse for quite a while and now even the mayor's daughter went missing. So our party is asked for help and they decide to go look for the little girl in the haunted forest. Eerie whispers can be heard and it appears as if the trees themselves were alive and haunted. They stumble upon a cave, but as they enter, they feel thick and sticky spider webs that cling to their clothes and boots. And as they cut through the webs, a large spider appears and blocks their path. They battle the creature, slash at it and use their spells and as they can finally take the beast down they have to realize that the spider's lair is empty and that only corpses remain. They discover that the lair is actually a tunnel system that leads them outdoors and in the illuminated light of the moon they see a castle up ahead. Our heroes have heard the rumors of blood-drinking aristocrats that are always in search for a new and delicate taste. So they decide that the castle must be their best shot at finding the little girl. As they walk around the stables, they hear strange noises and the horses there don't seem quite alive. As they sneak through the moldy halls, they stumble upon the castle's four-legged guards. Vicious horns attack them, and as they finally manage to battle and slay the beasts, they end up in the vampire's castle. They sneak through lavishly decorated halls with ornated furniture and chandeliers, but strangely enough, the castle seems pretty empty. And as they search for the little girl, they stumble upon a room that's large and empty, except for a large framed mirror that's covered in black velvet. In front of it, they find a golden lock of curled hair. And as our heroes pull back the curtains, they look into the pits of hell itself. 